When it comes to building a bridge, designing a car, or even making a water bottle, the choice of materials matters. Every material has its own strengths, weaknesses, and characteristics that make it suitable or not for certain uses. So, how do engineers and manufacturers decide which materials to use? Let's explore the key factors that determine the suitability of materials for making products or constructing structures. First up is strength. A material must be strong enough to handle the forces it will face, like tension, compression, or shear. For example, steel is often used in skyscrapers because it can support massive weights without bending or breaking. On the other hand, aluminum, while strong, wouldn't work for a skyscraper's framework because it's not as rigid as steel. Next is durability. A suitable material must be able to withstand wear, weather, and time without breaking down. Concrete, for example, is highly durable, making it ideal for roads and bridges. Meanwhile, materials like wood need treatment to resist moisture and pests to ensure long-term durability. Flexibility and rigidity are also important. Some structures, like airplane wings, need materials that can bend without breaking, while others, like a concrete dam, need materials that are stiff and unyielding. This is why engineers carefully evaluate how much flexibility or rigidity a material offers before choosing it for a project. Another critical factor is weight. Lightweight materials like aluminum or carbon fiber are perfect for airplanes and bicycles, where reducing weight improves efficiency. Heavier materials like stone or concrete are better for structures like dams or foundations, where weight adds stability. Cost is always a consideration. Even the best material isn't practical if it's too expensive. Engineers and manufacturers often have to balance performance with budget constraints. For example, plastic might not be as durable as metal, but it's much cheaper, making it a good choice for things like water bottles or food containers. Availability also plays a role. A material might be perfect for a job, but if it's rare or hard to source, it may not be feasible. For instance, some exotic metals like titanium are strong and lightweight, but expensive and difficult to obtain. So they're reserved for specialized applications like aerospace. Environmental impact is becoming increasingly important. People want materials that are sustainable and eco-friendly. Bamboo, for example, is being used more in construction because it grows quickly and is renewable. Recycled materials like plastic or steel are also gaining popularity in manufacturing because they reduce waste. Finally, there's aesthetic appeal, how a material looks or feels. This factor is especially important in products like furniture or architecture, where design matters just as much as function. Glass and wood are popular for their visual appeal, while polished metal gives a modern sleek look. When choosing materials, engineers often have to balance these factors. For example, when designing a bridge, they might prioritize strength, durability, and cost over aesthetic appeal. On the other hand, when manufacturing a smartphone, weight, cost, and appearance might be more critical. Understanding what makes a material suitable helps ensure that the final product or structure is safe, effective, and meets the needs of the people using it. From the steel beams of a skyscraper to the plastic of a food container, every material tells a story about how and why it was chosen.